Here is what you probably didn't know about actor Menzi and Gobain. Mzansi has still not processed the fall of the giant. Yes, the entertainment industry has been robbed not only in South Africa but the world at large. South Africa is in shock after learning that the greatest thespians Menzi and Gobain and Naki Makashalilo passed away. Menzi is was an award-winning South African actor who made all sorts of headlines when he joined the Queen Zansi cast after leaving Isabaya. And Gobain had an illustrious career that spanned decades. To many, he was well known for his on-screen character Sibisiso Dlamo on Generations. He was later axed from Generations with several other lead actors after a fallout with the show's producers. Menzi and Gobain who has been battling diabetes and kidney disease for years succumbed to a stroke. He was 56 years old. His family broke the news first and has since kept Mzansi updated on the funeral procession of the legendary actor. Menza spent much of his time in trying to demystify issues relating to kidney disease and sugar diabetes while promoting positive lifestyle changes needed to cope with the diseases. Menzi and Gobain was born on the 4th of September 1964 in Ladysmith, KwaZulu Natal Province. Menza cheated death several times. However, and Gobain suffered ill health for a number of years including receiving a kidney transplant leading up to his death. The seasoned actor was married to C.K. Lelo Sishuba. The two were once divorced but remarried in a traditional ceremony in 2015. Despite starring on several screenplays in his illustrious career which spanned for decades he was best known as Sibisiso Dlamo his on-screen character on Generations. The veteran actor once made all sorts of headlines when he was part of the seasoned cast that was axed from generations. His Sibisiso Dlamo character came to an aberrant end after a fallout with the show producers. Menzi and other cast members were axed in the backdrop of salary woes and poor working conditions. He was one of the longest serving lead actors he had decades stay at generations from 2003 to 2014 and Gobain won and was nominated for a number of film and television awards in South Africa. And Gobain appeared in a number of South African films, including How to Steal Two Million, alongside John Connie, Terry Fito, and Rapulina Saipima. The film won Best Picture at the 2012 African Movie Academy Awards. The vivacious actor was a jack of all trades and master of all. Apart from acting and Gobain was a philanthropist, motivational speaker, and businessman. He had amassed a fortune for himself and upon his untimely death, his net worth was valued at R35500 million.